Hello and welcome to the episode 309 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today we have two residencies in Hamburg, Brian Epstein meeting Ed Sullivan and John Lennon completing his first and only solo acting role. Another night of performances at the Kaiser Keller for the Beatles on the 5th of November 1960. The band, in their quintet lineup with Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, was engaged with their ongoing first residency in West Germany. Two years later, in 1962, the Beatles, now a quartet with Ringo Starr on drums and Paul McCartney taking on bass duties, performed alone and backing Little Richard for another Hamburg residency, this time at the Star Club. Quite a bit happened on this date in 1963. For a start, in United Kingdom, the Fabs had a late morning engagement with an associated Rediffusion TV crew. It had been decided that an entire This Week show was to be dedicated to the Beatles and Beatlemania. Today, the band considered an interview for this purpose, filmed in the back of a car running through London. The interview was edited down to 9 minutes and, along with photo stills and a studio conversation about the band, not featuring the Beatles, it was aired on the 7th of November between 9.10 and 9.40 pm. That night, instead, the Beatles resumed their autumn tour at the Adelphi Cinemains Lodge. On the other side of the Atlantic, instead, Beatles manager Brian Epstein was in New York for a US promotional visit of one of his other artists, Billy J. Kramer. On this date, Epstein met TV personality Ed Sullivan and the Ed Sullivan Show producer Bob Pretch. The three discussed about a new British fad, the Beatles. The negotiations to bring the Beatles to the Ed Sullivan show reached a positive conclusion only when Epstein agreed to a substantial reduction of the Beatles' fee for their performance. It was customary for an act occupying the top spot in the show to receive some $7,500 per performance, about $63,400 in 2020 money. Through Epstein, instead, the Beatles agreed to appear on the show three times for $10,000, about $84,500 in 2020 money, plus airfare to and from England and hotel bills in New York and Miami, where they needed to be for one of the three broadcasts. Both Hepstein and Sullivan thought they had had the upper hand in the deal. Sullivan thought that he had filled the top spot of three of his shows, saving more than 55% on guest fees. Epstein walked away knowing that the Beatles would have had ample exposure throughout the US and still get paid for the privilege. And while I rejoice having the privilege of having you with me, your listening alone will not help me producing more and better music-related content. At the time of this recording, I am not monetizing the platforms I am using to bring you this podcast, meaning that even if there was a million of you, I would still get absolutely no money. Not a cent of that advertisement money ends in my pocket. So please, do help out. Visit www.simonmas.com slash support to find out how. Take action, be fab, and ensure that I can keep on at full speed. Thank you! On the 5th of November 1964, the Beatles performed another couple of shows for their current British tour, this time at the Audion Cinema in Nottingham. Finally, in 1966, John Lennon finally concluded his involvement with the shooting of How I Won the War in Carboneras, Spain. And with this, the episode comes to a close. Tomorrow we'll see one Beatle returning to England and another leaving the country. And no, 
We're not talking about Tweedledum and Tweedledee. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.